If the solar system was chaotic in the past, that doesn't mean it's all settled down now. There is still a possibility of a little bit of chaos in the future. In the future, the gravitational pull of the planets on each other will gradually disrupt their orbits. Perhaps over the billions of years, the planets will jostle each other in this gravitational way so that eventually two of the planets will come close to each other. When that happens, and it will, those two planets will engage in a sort of a do -si do flinging one or the other of them, maybe both, into wild orbits, perhaps ejecting one or both of them from the solar system. Mars could be thrown out of the solar system, and Mercury might crash into the Earth. The entire house of cards that is our solar system would completely fall apart. Solar systems begin and end with a lot of collisions and destruction. This is going to take billions of years, but over the lifetime of the solar system, these are eventualities that could come to pass. But one way or another, our solar system is doomed. Like all solar systems, the end will come when the star at the center dies. In five billion years, our own star will run out of fuel and become a red giant. It'll heat up, swell, and engulf the inner planets. The Earth's surface will be scorched. seas will evaporate and the land will melt. The sun will become about as big as where the Earth's orbit is. So a likely scenario for the end of the world is that we're going to be inside the sun for a while. Planets are on safe, stable orbits. But billions of comets and asteroids are not. Many come streaking into the inner solar system. And when they do, Earth's in jeopardy. Meteor Crater, which we see here today, formed as a result of a 150-foot rocky iron object coming in and slamming into the Earth roughly 50,000 years ago. Some of the objects on a collision course can be much bigger. Look at the moon. It's covered with large impact craters. Earth has been hit too, a lot. but these craters have eroded. We know that a huge asteroid smashed into the Earth off the coast of Mexico 65 million years ago. It was traveling at 72,000 kilometers an hour, and when it hit, it released more energy than five billion atomic bombs.
it wiped out 70% of life on Earth. A few more impacts similar to that could destroy all life on Earth. But believe it or not, Earth is a giant protector. Jupiter is more than just another pretty face through the telescope. It's actually really important for life on Earth. Jupiter's gravity is so huge, and it's just in the right place in the solar system, that it protects the Earth from comets that come from deep in the solar system and swing by the sun and could possibly hit the Earth. Jupiter plays the role of the biggest baseball bat in the solar system. As these comets come by, most of them get knocked out of the solar system by Jupiter. In 1994, comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 raced towards the inner solar system, but it never got past Jupiter. Astronomers watched as Jupiter tore into pieces and dragged its remains down to the planet's surface. We have seen comets smash into Jupiter, creating fireballs that were bigger than the Earth. They were the biggest explosions ever seen in our solar system. Had that comet hit us, it would have resurfaced the planet. It would have been the end of life as we know it. If Jupiter wasn't there, we believe that the impact rate on the Earth would be something like a thousand times more than we see today. <laughs>